if you need these. Now here's your water. Okay, we'll just set these in the floor. Okay. Yeah, we're getting our stuff all set. Okay. I'm going to put these up here. Oh. I'll do that. All right, now when we start, when we start and I'm talking, you just, they're going to follow you. So when you're talking to me, you're going to be on a camera over here because your shoulders. Yeah. I always say that because at the beginning of the, end of the show, I face this way because I know I'm supposed to because my shoulders are. But you wouldn't start talking and looking over there. Okay. You would look just kind of act like yeah. you're talking to me and out there because that way you're facing the right way. Do you have enough room? I, I feel like I am keep getting caught on my wire. Okay. You know what I could do? I could do. I wonder if I can cheat and go like this. How's that? Is that weird? Yeah, it's like tighter. Oh, it's, it's tighter. even tighter. Okay. Hang on a second. Well, I could put what if we put it on my sports bra in the yeah, that well that was yeah, funny. That's a good idea. That's what I was trying to do through it. I'm stupid. Okay, look. Does that give you enough room? Well, it's it's getting hooked to something. Hold on a second. Now there, that's there's better. Your ticket. Okay, now pull okay. that down. Yeah, now you got plenty of room. Yep. Um, so at the very oh got oh I've got chocolate. <laughs> got chocolate on the back of my oh, that's camera awesome. because I'm always um, That looks like my kids. Okay, I'm going to take phone. a picture of you with that behind it, this okay. little catalyst. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, now get the um, weights. Hold the weights up. What do you want me to do with them? You can just do like a one, two. Um, I like half my face in it only. One, two, three. I like kind of sideways. Okay, now I'm going to get a picture of this too. up and talk a little bit introduction okay. and then your picture okay and so we'll we are i think and that's Hey guys, it's time to get fit. It's time to have lots of fun. I'm Missy Kane, so glad you're tuning in. We're gonna try to get some muscle strength going today. A little toning going on here in the studio. And I've got Carly Pearson, a buddy of mine that I've known, I guess, 15 years maybe, something like Probably that Probably close, now. yes. And um, she's been on Fit and Fun before. Yes. But it's been a few years. Um, Carly, tell everybody what you do. Well, uh, first and foremost, I'm a Aww. mom of two babies, <laughs> 11 and five. Aww. I shouldn't say babies oh, anymore. No, and um, I'm very involved in the adaptive sports community here mm -hmm. in town and um, just helping out. I guess I'd say I'm a volunteer of many different organizations. Yes, so. you're um, Catalyst Sports. IRC is how I met Carly Yes, with Al K. Tell them yes. a little bit about that. And we're at the same time, Carly, I'm going to make people kind of warm up and go like this back and forth. Okay. So um, I started my adaptive sports, I guess, life mm -hmm. after I was injured in 2002 while working as a wildland firefighter for the Park Service. I fell down a ravine and hit some rocks and became paralyzed from the waist down. And while I was in rehab at um, Fort Sanders at mm -hmm. Patricia Nail Rehab, I was introduced to um, what I call, you know, life after the injury, right. adaptive sports. <clears throat> and 
um, Al K introduced me to some of the programs that they offer. Right. So, He's a great guy. Yeah. And we're going to do some shoulder shrugs now, kind of get those shoulders uh, warmed up a little bit, exaggerate them. And I've got a few pictures that I asked Carly to send in. And um, so I know she enjoy seeing her little I saw Claire not too long ago but this was uh Governor Haslam may have yes. been one of the no co- that was that was this year that oh was that's Governor right because he, he started yes. it that's yes right. so that was uh the marathon this year Covenant Health Knotts Marathon this will be her 10th coming up mm-hmm. and um have won quite a few medals with that Where, that looks like that was in San Francisco Golden with Gate. our national sled hockey tournament which is a program that we run here in town for that's adaptive nice. hockey that, I know. I've seen some pictures. That's really cool. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's awesome. So you kinda play and you kind of coach, right? Yeah, well, play and sort of help administer the program. And these these bikes are really sleek. Aren't yeah. They? So this is called a hand cycle, and it's uh, got 28 gears, and um, it's basically like a regular bike, but you crank with your hands. Mm-hmm. So you have to be very strong on those hills, that Knowlton Hill that you get. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is my Aww. son and my daughter. Yeah, so. how sweet. And they're even bigger now, aren't they? Yeah, well, yeah. that was this spring, so right. they've both grown this summer. Right, and she starts kindergarten. Yes, and he will be going to middle school. Oh, wow. So. That's unbelievable. All right, guys, we're going to do a few more kind of warm-ups for our, our upper body now. So act like you're kind of reaching up and back like that, like picking something back and forth. Because uh, I guess, you, do you have to warm up to do your hand cycling or how uh, you, should well, you? I, I guess should, <laughs> I should. And I, when I, I belong to a CrossFit gym, shout mm. out to One Valley. Yeah. Um, and we, we always go through a warm up and stretching before we do mm. any lifting. And right. So, yeah. Good job, everybody. A few more of these. Okay, we're going to bring one arm across and let's just hold it and kind of rotate that wrist too. A little bit of a stretch there. Shoulder, because I know shoulder injuries. Um, I know I talked to uh, Thomas, and he had yes, some shoulder Tom, injuries. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that's a common occurrence mm-hmm. in in my world. People that use wheelchairs and elbow issues, which is something I've been dealing with. So you just right. have to really be aware of not overusing, mm-hmm. which is is hard to do because yes. you're a mom and you're doing ponytails right. and you know all that. So. Okay, now a few big arm circles to warm it up. And I know Carl used to do triathlons too, USA triathlon. Yes, I uh, was a member of the U.S. para triathlon team and the U.S. para cycling team. And um, I just don't really have the time to right. train for the three disciplines mm-hmm. right now that anymore. Is it is a little much. Okay, all right, we're going to get a sip of water, and then y'all find some weights, and I've got my water right over here, and we can do light weights or heavier, like I know Carly at your um, CrossFit gym, I mean, you do heavy duty stuff, don't you? Oh, I use the bar a lot, I do kettlebells, and uh, we have really heavy medicine balls that we use, so right. it just depends on the exercise. But right. Okay, well, I'll start us out, and I'm going to take my five pounds to start us out. And then, um, and you guys can follow along. And again, I always say this, if you're out there, you can do the same thing we do in a chair. Carly's in a chair. So, um, cause I do my, I kind of move my feet because I'm so weird with this Fitbit, you know, I'm in the vibes challenge, right? Visually right. Group. So, all right, to start out, we're just going to do alternating bicep curls, kind of a warm up because these are light weights for Carly. Carly's used to heavier. Now do your kids like sports? Yeah, my son, he runs cross country and um, he will hopefully run track this year Mm -hmm. and he likes to play basketball. And um, my daughter, I had her started in hockey and gymnastics and then she fell off her balance bike and had a little elbow fracture. So we're going to maybe start soccer in the fall. Right. Okay. I like different sports. I like to kind of get them involved in different things. Yeah. Um, had a runner but she did Kelsey did three sports in high school and then Gracie's the swimmer my 16 year old but she's kind of concentrating on that now because she's gotten very good at that and that's Mm -hmm. what she likes to do so I think it's good to focus when they get older on on one or two right yeah you kind of have to nowadays yeah about four more of these good job everybody and we'll try to do a little bit of range of motion in between I'm gonna set mine down So in between, I just want y'all to do those big arm circles again. 
we're going to do two sets of everything we do. So I'm going to do another set of the alternating bicep curls, and then do a stretch, then Carly's going to lead. She's going to show me what she likes to do. And again, we're adapting some of the things that Carly likes to do because, of course, this is not the same as your gym. Right. Obviously. Okay. Now, another set. Now, this one, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it more like a hammer curl, so my palms are facing inward like this. Good. And I'm going to keep mine out because yeah. I'm suffering from some tendonitis. Oh, and you got to figure out what you can do. That is uh, definitely not... Um, a good move for me right now. Well, I know I have tendonitis in my thumb joints. And um, somebody told me that it's common with women after 50. Oh, with interesting. In here. But I think it's too, we use our phones so much. Oh, and well, it could be. <laughs> Got four more. Guys doing good out there. Two and one. Good job. Set that down. All right, now in between, I just want you to kind of go down and up like this. Does that help you doing this? I do this stretch a lot. I also use some um, therapy bands mm -hmm. for stretching. Um, so, and I. To get a little bit of range of motion with that. Yeah. Forearm there. Good job. Push it back. And then Catalyst Sports is, what is Catalyst Sports? So Catalyst Sports is a, a, a nonprofit organization here in town that helps um, get people out that have disabilities, physical disabilities. And uh, we do climbing. We do rock climbing at River Sports once a month. Um, and yeah, yeah, Ed, I'll go ahead. I'm going to gonna watch what you do. You're going to leave oh, this one. Okay. So I like to do a shoulder press. Okay. Um, you know, you can use heavier or lighter. You okay. want lighter. I but I like to just start here and push up. Okay. And then I, I usually switch weights so we can do the second set okay. a, little heavier, a little heavier. But Yeah, I've seen you guys at River Sports. Yeah, so um, we um, River Sports offers um, their gym for the first Saturday of every month. Mm -hmm. We climb from 10 to 12. And then we also offer weekly kayaking in summer oh, okay. out at IAMS. Oh, I want to come and do that with um, y'all. Let's do five more. Okay. And then, um, let's see, we, we have. There's going to be a big thing in the, usually every fall they have a big uh, Catalyst Sports yeah. type of um, activities over at Victor Ash. Yes. So we're going to, we are have an Adaptive Sports Expo mm -hmm. September 16th this year. Mm -hmm. um, might be Usually in it's in September right. or October, depending mm -hmm. on, you know, how we can get the, the park. Right. And then um, we just have all kinds of adaptive sports. We have power soccer. We have hand cycling. Uh, we have a punching bag that's uh, adjustable. Uh -huh. We have um, golf. So if, you know, anybody in the public can come out, it's free. Yeah, We'd it's love fun. to have people come out and check it out. Club Vibes, the Vision Impaired Group, they're into it big time. I yep. know that Al K with IRC. Yes. Has been over there. How many more do we have of these? Oh, uh, let's do five. Okay. Whew, I think I can. <laughs> Four. Three. Good job, everybody. Two. One. All right. Whew. That was heavy. I'm glad me. you're good at counting because I'm not. <laughs> ah. A little water break, a little sip of Missy's water. Missy's good at uh, multitasking. Ah. That's about the only thing I'm good at. And sometimes <laughs> I'll forget what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to leave this one. And I think, I remember Carly was showing me that she likes to do like, it's almost like a deadlift type of thing. Yes. And what weights would you use with that? Start um, with e we'll, well start easy. If you're not used to doing right. similar, I would start with the easier because you, you want to make sure that you keep your lower back straight like you have. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting, you still want to have that straightness right. in your back and use your legs to come up. But right. yeah. Okay. So I just, so you would pull up and I would just pull right. up like this. So that works your lower back and your shoulders. A little bit of your hamstrings too yep. for me. And I, I kind of leave my knees bent. Uh, yeah. Now, some serious athletes might not. I do because if I leave my legs straight, my hamstrings really hurt. Right. And if you can't go all the way to the ground like I'm doing, you could even have smaller right. weights and just come up to here. Just so even this is working your lower back. We're going to do yep. about five more. Good job, everybody. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Two, one. Okay, I'm going to set them down in between. And then in between on this one for a little bit of a stretch. 
thought we could just go back and forth like this, you know, and that gets that low back involved with a little bit of movement. Good job. So what's your, what's your you've done, done so many sports, what's your favorite? Well, we've also here in town gotten a grant this past year to start a sled hockey program. Yep. So that's adaptive hockey. And I have to say, it's really a lot of fun. Um, the team aspect mm -hmm. of it. and just Where do y'all play? We play at the, the Coliseum and at Cool Sports, so mm -hmm. out off Watt Road. Okay. Um, My and our, we're in our off season right now, so. I'm going, we're going heavier on this one if y'all want to. Um, my son-in-law is a hockey player, but oh. and he played for the ice for a year, but oh. now he's a um, he's a UFC fighter. Oh, awesome. Yeah, hot well, sauce. We'll, we'll be Shout out to hot He loves hockey. Oh, that's awesome. And go Predators. Wasn't yeah. that cool? That was cool. They did so well. Okay, same thing, but we're going to do a little bit heavier if you can do it. You don't have to, right? Yeah. And stay the same way if you need to. And we'll I be mean. doing an exhibition with the Ice Bears this year. Oh, that's great. Um, we get them in sleds, and uh -huh. they, they like to try to, well, let me know. to beat us, but they're not going to beat us. <laughs> <laughs> so That's great. Yeah, ice, ice hockey really has started catching on in the South. You know, you never yeah, would have thought that. I know. It's it's a lot of fun. And I, I, do, I really love all sports, but... Um, and you I were a really soccer player before your injury. You were a soccer player, weren't you? Yes, I played, played in soccer college. and ran track. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. But um, I, I just think getting out and mm -hmm. being able to get outside and, mm -hmm. you know, participate with other people is very important, especially after a catastrophic injury well, or, that's, you know, a life-changing event. You're in Alcoa. You know, your family's from Mirabal, Alcoa, and it's so neat seeing our greenways connected. Yes. Eventually. That's awesome. So you all keep donating out to Blunt County, also Legacy Parks, trying to get those greenways connected. It costs money. Right. You know. <coughs> Four more. Good job. Three. Two. Last one. Okay. A little water. Okay, what's something else you like to do? So, I. Uh, um, I like to use a medicine ball, but okay. you could also use a dumbbell if you don't have a medicine ball. Okay. Um, and this is really good for the abs, which I need to be working more often. Okay, <laughs> I find ones. that as a as a mom of two kids, mm -hmm. uh, after turning 40, it's harder and harder to keep that weight off. But I just like to keep my abs tight and twist. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can do this on the floor. You can do this with your feet raised if you want a little harder, you know, workout. Yeah, and what all I'm doing to kind of get my abs involved, um, I'm kind of leaning back just a hair. I'm leaning back just a hair, and that makes me kind of dial in through here a little bit more. And I'm just trying to keep my abs tight. And if, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have uh, the use of your abs, you can still do this movement, and you're going to still be working those muscles. Good job. Let's do four more. Three two, one, we can set it down or give it a break for just a little bit and we'll do another set. So in between you could do a little bit of a yeah. shoulder stretch like this. It is hard to make, like if I'm doing this show or if I'm doing a workout with other people, I will stretch. But if it's yeah. by myself, I often will It's not. really hard. I have, um, I have a few of my um, friends at the gym that really try to stay on me about stretching, mm -hmm. especially using my upper body. Right. you know 24 7 99 right. percent of the time mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have um, to stay strong stretching is just as important as working out really all right another set of yes. these carly twist Put on the carly twist and if your weight is really light let's say you're just holding a light weight you can put it out from your body a little bit and you're even getting a little bit of shoulder work right. too good job About four more of these. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna take yours. Thank you. And put this back. I think I got those from Power Systems. A little drip of water. All right, we're gonna do a combination. We'll do like Carly's been doing. We'll start out light, and then we'll um, add a little bit to it. So this is like a clean and jerk move. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be down here, somewhere in here in front of your um, knees, and then we'll bring it to shoulders. Press up here and back down. So it's kind of a three-part movement. Shoulders, press up, shoulders, and down. 
and just keep it going. Good job. You're trying to get more females into hand cycling, right? Quite a few yeah. guys, Dennis and, and a are, Dennis in there town. There are quite a few females uh, throughout the country, but and here them? locally, it's, we've had a oh hard gosh. time recruiting. And I, I really haven't been consistent on the bike um, since my daughter was born, so I can't even really. And there's a really you know, good guy that competes that is with a car. I think he works on cars, too. And he goes to a lot of races. Al said he hadn't been able to do the Covenant because he's at Cooper River often. Oh, Matthew. You're Matthew. About Matthew. Yes. Yes, Matthew, um, he is uses what we call a racing wheelchair, mm -hmm. which is different than the picture of the Three hand more. cycle. Um, but he's a top-notch racer. Yeah. He's been to the Pan Am Games. and One more. He's... Uh, He's been around. He was one of my mentors, actually. Yeah, I've, I've tried to get him on the show, and he's so busy. It's he, a hard he does. time. His he's family owns David's Tires, so if you right. need uh, your vehicle worked on, go out to David's Tires. Right. <laughs> All right, let's reach up and do a little bit of stretch this way. Kind of go to one side and the other side. But I haven't, yeah, Matthew's um, yeah, nationally class type of Oh, yeah. Yeah, racer. he's uh, very well ranked and works really hard and he has two kids himself and uh -huh. so he's really busy, busy. <laughs> yeah okay we're gonna do the same thing clean and jerk you can get a heavier weight if you have some if you want to try that and again we're gonna start like here and then shoulders up and then in the winter time I know y'all do um, IRC with Patricia Neal does yes, so a lot of skiing do, um, right there's a snow skiing clinic up at Beach Mountain every year. That's the week of Martin Luther King. Uh -huh. And it's great. People come from all over the country to learn how to ski and to instruct. Mm -hmm. And then we do water skiing um, in the summer. And then their annual Eskimo escapades. Usually uh, kind of the end of winter. Yeah. Like February, March. Yes. I saw Alec K out there with a group this year. Good fundraiser. Good job, everybody. And then, of course, the Covenant Health Knots and Marathon. Um, proceeds, some of the proceeds go to Patricia Neal, yes. our RC program. I think last year it was over $6,000, so that was good. Three more. We can do it. One more. Okay, set those down. Whew, good job. Okay, in between, going to pull across. And again, kind of stretch out that wrist too, which I need to do. They say with carpal tunnel too, people have that. Oh, yeah. Kind of helps to do some range of motion with your wrist, either side. I think we've got about six more minutes, seven more minutes. I think Chris told me. Probably one more. You can lift one more, and I can probably lift one more. Okay. Something you like to do. I don't know if we've done triceps or anything. I don't know what. Uh, that or. So I like to do side and front raises. Okay, well show me that because um, I don't okay. do those a lot. So uh, I'm going to use my lower weights okay. to start out. Um, but I just, you know, I like to kind of do a combo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I keep my wrist facing up because okay. I think that's better for my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then you go out like you're leaning out. Okay. So it's here? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And you really couldn't. Use a heavy, heavy weight. No, I don't think with this. I mean, I don't be too much away from your body. I don't even think I would do the next straight up. No, I think we're gonna stick with these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good plan. I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> good job. Now, how many days do you go to um, CrossFit? Um, well, I try to go three. That's, One more. Um, some of the guys in there are going every day, but uh, the reason I love CrossFit is okay. it's one hour I get. Um, I get my workout in. Heavy burn. Yeah, it, well, it's high intensity interval training, mm -hmm. and um, you know, but you also have strength training, and um, I, I don't have too. to think of the and workout you're, myself. You're doing it kind of quick too. Yeah, and it's like a, a class, so basically, it's you know the camaraderie of the class, mm -hmm. and just uh, being able to go in there, and they help design the workout, and it's scalable to anybody's That's great. abilities. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what your you know ability is; they're going to help try to make it fit to you know, it's what your needs fun. are. It's fun. Because yeah. I like, you know, even on this show, I try to do different things. I like, I don't like to do the same old, same old. Me, you know? me too. So like, I like this lift, because I don't do this lift a lot. Yeah. So this is a little new for me, okay? Yep, so. Right, I do, watch it again, okay, here. Up. And then just make sure you don't go above your shoulder, shoulder height. the height okay. of your shoulders, because you don't want to injure your shoulder. Yep, okay, is that about right? Yep. 
Yeah. And I've got a little bit of a soft elbow. Not Good job, everybody. You know, and I like weights, but I don't, and again, I have a hard time doing it by myself. I, I've gotten to where I don't even like to go to the gym by myself because <laughs> I've gotten Three so more used sets. to the classes at CrossFit. Right. So. Two more. We can do it. I can feel the burn. One more, one more set. Front and control it. Oh, wow, I could feel that towards the end. Yeah. Man, there's no way I could have gone heavier. No. And that's the thing. If you notice that you're trying to do eight and you get to four and you can't do it, then you're Yeah, you're too done. Heavy. You're yeah. done. All right, a little water break. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take one weight. So let's get your heavier weight. We're going to do one weight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix your mic a little bit. Oh, I, sorry. I got it. There we go. The lovely mic headband that you have. Yes, there. that keeps All falling. Right, the last part we're going to do is I'm going to do tricep extension. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm letting it go down my back and up. And kind of elbows high like this. I thought of Carly the other day. I was by myself. I would have liked to have been with somebody else, but I was going to a party. Congratulations, Karen Milani, on her reverse 900-mile map. It's a buddy of mine. Wow. And I went up foothills a little bit by myself. Oh, I, yeah. I only went to about six miles up and turned around. Oh. Hot day. But well, yes. But I've done that with Carly before. Yes. <laughs> you must be flying on those downhills. Yeah, pretty much. Fa pretty fast on the downhills. Not so fast on the up. <laughs> But one more, one more on this set. Good job, everybody. Good. Set those down. Okay, and stretch back a little bit. You can pull that back. Good. You can start down a little bit lower and then pull it up. If you can. Down a little lower. Back up. All right, one more set. We can do it. Triceps. I'm not sweating. That's a good thing. Yep. I think I, I know I've been out. Norris is a pretty place, and I biked out there with Carly and Norris. And you were tough because there's a dog started chasing us. Oh. You're lower to the ground than me, I and I'm like freaking that. out. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut this one short. We're just going to do four more of these. Three, two, last one. Ah, oh. that's a good thing we cut that short. <laughs> good job, good job, everybody. We're running out of time. All right, <coughs> one arm across again. Pull that arm, see if you can do the fingertips, maybe do your thumbs back and forth, a little bit different this time. A little dexterity. Yes, I, I don't know how many years ago that was. Maybe when you, <coughs> probably been 2010. Six or seven, yeah. yeah. Other side. I always know everything from my daughter's five and mm -hmm. I had more time to ride before. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to kindergarten. I know, so, so I'll see. have no excuses now. <coughs> A few more of these, back and forth. Good job. Now see if you can put one arm up and the other arm kind of like oh. back, like okay. that. I can't do it very well, uh -huh. but try to act like you're reaching that way. And other side, stretch a -roo. This is where I always know I need to stretch more. And one arm is doesn't work like the other one. No. Okay, last thing, good shoulder shrugs, make it feel good. Kind of relax and make it feel good. All right, guys, that was a good workout, Carly Pearson. Thank you so much for Very having good. me on the show. And you guys remember, life is more fun when you're fit. Keep working out. Find a little variety in your life, too. That's a lot of fun. See you next time here on East Tennessee PBS. Great show. Okay, reach it up and take it around. One more. Up. All right. Oh, I can tell what's up. <laughs>